What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. As always, I'm your co-host Donovan Quick. And before I get into this UDFA, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Get notifications for all our other UDFA videos that are gonna be dropping today and tomorrow. Um, also, if you haven't, if you missed any of the draft pick videos or the UDFA videos from earlier, go into the playlist and you can see all the ones uh, that are there, the Miami Dolphins 2024 draft class. All right, so this gentleman, Grayson Murphy, he's a defensive line edge from UCLA. He is an undersized edge rusher uh, at only six foot two, 251. Yes, I know it's very large for the average human, but for an edge rusher or defensive line guy, he's undersized. He does, however, make up with his speed uh, and his technique because he does have a really good um, like a swim move and a chop technique uh, and he he is very good at also turning the corner um, so once again the Dolphins kind of stick with their their theme of going speed on both sides of the ball uh, and you know he, he could use some refinement with his uh, technique uh, he does overcommit at times especially in the run he shows a he's a, he's not as good with the run stopping right so run stopping you're you're more stagnant you're just you're kind of like waiting for the guy to like run to you because you don't want to overcommit. sometimes he does happen to overcommit in the run game and that gets him burnt um but he doesn't show good technique when he's actually going uh like and standing in the hole he kind of gets run over occasionally uh so you know between being undersized and struggling in the run game two reasons he probably dropped out of the draft um, that and also he was probably majorly overshadowed by uh, Leatu Latu uh, from UCLA. So yeah, uh, look, he has a strong bed, strong bend, and an ability to turn the edge and turn the corner very tightly, um, and he can exploit the gaps there. But once again, he lacks the ideal size for the NFL, um, and. It's just that's that's one of the major things and you know look we've had undersized guys succeed before we drafted two semi undersized guys um i mean chop is not really undersized but he's a little short but other than that i mean why not he's a camp body right uh and so do i think is he going to make the roster i don't know if he's going to make the 53 um, I think he's going to be a practice squad uh, special teams guy. From what I'm reading, look, he's very, very, you know, decent. So we need we need depth at, at the edge and defensive line positions at least to start the season. Um, so I can definitely see him maybe being like one of the last ones cut and then brought back to the roster once uh, once Phillips and Chubb are put on like IR and then you know they get brought back up and then probably put on the practice squad later on in the season when Phillips and Chubb are healthy. Um, but that's, that's probably my projection for him. And I like this signing, um, personally speaking, I, I like guys that, you know, go to the senior bowl and show out and what they want to prove and what they got to prove. Uh, but yeah, all his measurables like outside of his 40 is just abysmal. Uh, it didn't show anything else. Um, he didn't do. He didn't have a participate in the pro day. He didn't participate in the combine. So, uh, yeah, he, he's a really underrated guy. He's definitely a film guy. Uh, uh, Chris Greer likes to call it the scouts Super Bowl. Um, and th that's one of them. All right. Uh, that's what I got for you with this gentleman. Uh, be on the lookout for another UDFA video coming a little bit later. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this guy in the comments below. Once again, turn on your notifications. Get the notifications for when the video drops. Love you guys. Deuces.